I just realized one of my eyebrows looks like butch. Like, what happened to my Frida Kahlo's? Oh, that is gonna distract me the entire video, just so you guys know. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to the Litter Box. Today, I am very excited to be back and back sharing with you guys and filming for you guys and everything for you guys because everything is about you. It's always about you. When is it ever about me? But anyway, I am very happy. I am very excited to be back. Uh, I had to take some time off for myself because I was going through some personal issues. But nonetheless, I am here, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, mainly because of the coffee. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, for today's video, I have something that I really love doing and I really love sharing with you guys. Um, for those of you who follow me on Snapchat previous to me having a channel, then you might already know what that is. So, without further ado, oh, actually, no, shut up. Um, I actually did have a message towards the end of the video, uh, so make sure that you guys stick around for that if you wanna know what the spill milk is, because girl, girl, boy, woman, man, mm -mm -mm -mm. let's leave that for the end and get to this video. All right, so for today's video, I have a toy unboxing slash pop haul for you guys because that's what it is. It's just a bunch of pops and a bunch of pop hauls. So let's get to popping off because that's what we're gonna do. So um, for those of you who do not know what this is, this is the Marvel Collector Corpse Mystery Box by Funko. Well, first of all, this is mail. We're gonna open this too. Um, but this is the Marvel Collective Corpse uh, Mystery Box by Funko or Funko or whatever co you pronounce that brand as. But this is basically um, a mystery box that is curated by the company and sent to you by the nice people of the post office. So yeah. Now this, mo this box I've been holding on to since March and all of April and then beginning of May. So I did a lot of waiting for you guys because normally as soon as they get to my door, I just pop fail, pop fail, whatever. Um, but yeah, so normally when as soon as they get to my door, I automatically just open them because I cannot contain the excitement. So we're gonna be opening the box for March because like I said, I've been waiting for you guys. Where y'all been? where y'all been hiding. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and get to it. And I also have this mailbox right here. Well, not mailbox, this is not a mailbox. This is a box that came in the mail. Um, I have mail for you guys that I'm gonna share with you guys. And yeah, so enough rambling. Let's just get to it. All right, so I do wanna make it clear that this is not sponsored, you guys. I paid for this with my very own hard-earned husband's money, so. No sponsorship here, honey. It's all, I want to say it's all me, but it's not. It's all him. So, thank you, baby daddy. Um, he's not dead. He's just in the upstairs room, in case you guys thought that I was speaking to, to the Lord. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and open this puppy up because <sighs> the excitement is for real. So, let's go ahead and do that. There it is. And are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Okay, so one, two, ah! all right. So the first thing that I see here, hold it, hold it, hold it. Uh, the first thing that I see here is a t-shirt and it is a, obviously it's Captain Marvel, so. <laughs> um, it is a Captain Marvel t-shirt and oh my God, look at that. Look at that, so fancy. You could wear this to a wedding, a baptism, you know, anything fancy. But this is apparently based off on the movie poster and there you see her there in the airplane hanger and with goose in the background right there. So I love this. Oh, I just peeked, I just peeked, I just peeked in the box, you guys. Oh, I'm shaking, 
Is this normal? But anyway, um, so yes, I don't actually wear these stuff. Um, I just kind of collect it. I'm, I can't stop staring. Um, I just kind of collect these. And hopefully once this room is done, I have a place to display all my t-shirts. So whoever walks in here is able to enjoy them as much as I do. So yes, but the thing that distracted me, you guys, is because um, for all the time that I've had these uh uh, 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 what is this called? Um, subscription. For all the whole time that I've had the subscription, they never add to toys, and this time they did, and like the little girl in me, well, the little boy, the little, the little gay in me, is super stoked. So, here we have, we'll start with this one. Here we have a Nick Fury pop, and he is there holding Goose. I love this. I actually enjoy these two together in the movie, so I'm glad that they made a pop of them together. Um, but yeah, this looks so awesome. Oh my God, little boy, little boy. Let's go ahead and open them. Why not? All the pop collectors out there who probably are like, <gasps> Yes, I opened it. It's not like I'm gonna, you know, wait for to resell it or whatever. These are mine and mine only. But, oh, look at him, you guys. Okay, so here he, how cute. Um, Look at him, so here he is. He's a bubble head. I actually look like a bubble head in real life. Like my head is like so big. You can sit me on your dashboard. I'm sitting there like this. Um, but yeah, so this is what he looks like, you guys. He is there holding Goose in his little suit. And then you see Goose's butt right there. Now, I'm a little thrown off because look how they depict him on the box. Like, he's supposed to have, like, a poofy fro, right? And unless he got a haircut while he was in here, that's not what he looks like. So, what the hell? I definitely feel catfished. I've been catfished by a toy. <laughs> I've never had this ever in my life. But yeah, nonetheless, I'll keep you around. I'll keep you around, little baby. But okay, so then the next one in this box is, of course, a Captain Marvel Funko Pop. And this one lights up in the dark. And there you see her with her little suit and her power glass. And she looks like she's taking flight. So that is pretty awesome. Now, I'm going to open this one just so you guys could see what it looks like. And I want to know what the glow-in-the-dark feature is because that's pretty cool. Um, I don't have any pops in my collection that glow-in-the-dark. So this is my first one. Um, Okay, so here, why did I just smell this? Um, anyway, so here she is, you guys. Um, she is there taking flight, like I said, with her little suit and her power blast. And I will let you guys know what this looks like in the dark. Well, actually, I'll let you guys know. We'll find out together. But um, yeah, that is pretty cool. She is also a bubble head. And oh, so cute, so cute. All right, and the last thing in this box, which is kind of sad, there was only four things. Like, normally they give you, like, five to seven items, but, I mean, I'm not complaining because, well, I technically was, but I'm not complaining because I got two toys out of it, so life is all good. Um, and the last thing in this box is this box. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to assume it's either a mug or a cup because it feels fluffy. Let's see which one it is. It's a cup, so let's go ahead and open this one up. Ooh, it was tight, it was tight. All right, so here it is, you guys. It is a Captain Marble pint glass, perfect for your margaritas, um, beer, or anything. Um, I'm an alcoholic. I have to own up to that. But anyway, so here it is. It is a Captain Marvel pint glass. There you see it. It says higher, further, faster. And she is wearing her suit. So I definitely love this. Now, again, I don't use any of this stuff for any of its intended purpose. I just collect them. So I do have a collection of like tumblers and cups that I will be adding this to. And yeah, maybe be displayed in here. So who knows? 
oops, the possibilities are endless. So um, that was it for that box. You also get a pamphlet uh, that tells you exactly what you guys should have gotten in your box, but we don't need to go through that. Everything was here, so yay! All right, so let's go ahead and move on to package number two. Um, now, what this is, is basically related to this box because um, while I was, you know, scrolling on the toy forums, uh, trying to educate myself and inform my habits, um, I had seen a picture, well, two pictures of two different Goose Pops that I really, really wanted, but there was one in particular that I wanted. So the options were either a... Goose Pop with its tentacle coming out or a Goose Pop with the actual flirking mode is swallowing the Tesseract and I really, 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 really want the one with the Tesseract because it's the better looking one. But the seller that I got this from didn't specify which one you would get. So it's basically kinda, it's basically kinda, um, it's basically kinda up to luck. So let us pray to the mighty Thor and yeah, let's see which one we get. <laughs> I kind of almost don't want to open it just so I could pretend that it's the one I want and be happy. Because if I'm not, then I'm not happy. And I'm just going to keep reordering it until they get it right. So, wish me luck. <laughs> I'm not ready. Okay, you guys let me know if it's the one that I wanted, okay? Okay, ready? <laughs> come on out, come on out, come on. Well, first of all, it concerns me that there's no bubble wrap in that. But anyway, so here it is. I'm assuming I want to hold it up right. Am I holding it up right? Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so here we have the little uh, flirking goose pop uh, where he is swallowing the Tesseract. Now, this one also says it's a glow in the dark. So, go figure. Now I have two glow in the dark pops for my collection. So, let's get this puppy out of the box and see what it do. Ooh. Okay, so here he is. And there you see him, you know, with his tentacles swallowing the Tesseract. It almost looks like those um, Iceman gums, doesn't it? That's so funny. But anyway, so here he is. It's also a bubble head, and I love it. Oh my goodness, I love this. <gasps> oh, thank God, baby Jesus, because the amount of ordering and ordering I was going to have to do until I got it was going to be crazy. And the amount of... Um, take back that we're gonna receive from me was also gonna be crazy because once I got it, I would just send everything back. But anyway, so here it is. Oh, I love it. I love, love, love it. Um, but yeah, so one thing about this cat, my sister's cat looks just like Goose and I keep trying to have her give him to me, but she refuses. And I don't know why, she has a dog. It's not like she's gonna miss him. Um, don't be selfish. Let him be what he needs to be. He belongs with me, okay? So, you guys, we should start a petition for my sister to just give me, a, to give him up, you know? So, go ahead and comment down below. Just say, give it to him, give it to him, and maybe she'll listen, okay? So, help me out with that. But anyway, so that was that for these and the mail. So, let's put that right here, and let's move on to the rest of the pop haul because I have been toy hunting uh, for the past two months you know, to try to cure my illnesses. Um, but yeah, so it's been working out so far. Um, so I did collect two pops that I am very excited to add. And one of them is right here, the Mighty Thor. So this is a spring convention exclusive, but I actually found them at GameStop. So yay, kudos for me. I didn't have to go to no convention and get on some long lines. So here he is. It is the... Thor pop and he is wearing his 
um, comic book outfit. So, you know, vintage, vintage. And then you see his little hammer, his helmet, and his little back off bitch pose. So, I love him. Now, they do have a whole vintage collection in the back. And I definitely want Captain America and Iron Man. Um, ooh, and Captain Marvel right here. Um, I already have Doctor Strange. I got him for Christmas, like two Christmases ago. So, yay, yay, yay! We are on our way. And then the last one for today's haul, it is, of course, a Thanos pop. Now, this is from the Avengers Endgame movie, and I love this one. They had released uh, some last year where she wasn't fully armored, and I didn't want any of those because I specifically wanted one where he was armored. So I'm glad that they gave this um, to us. And yeah, I'm going to be displaying it with my gauntlet right here. So aesthetics. It's gonna be amazing. So yeah, um, I didn't take these two out of the box, but I'll insert a picture of what they look like, you know, outside of the box in post production. So yep, 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 yep. And that is the end of the haul, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did because toys are life and I love them. So if you guys like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and then hit subscribe. Make sure you guys turn on your notification bell to be informed when I am back from hiatus and filming. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for your continuous love and support. Um, like I did say, I do have a, a quick announcement regarding the channel, so let's get to that. So basically, when I went back and I logged into my YouTube account, I had seen that I received a... Um, copyright warning from YouTube saying that in my previous video, which is the I Just Wanna Dance video, I had a I had used a copywritten song. So they either gave me the option to take it down or change the song. And changing the song just would not make sense because I mean it was it was choreographed to that specific song. And I also don't have thousands of dollars to give Beyonce um, for five seconds of her song. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove it. Um, but yeah, and then I also decided that I was just going to move all dance-related content into either my Facebook page or my Instagram page. So if you guys want to see dance-related content, go ahead and make sure that you guys follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And while you're at it, go ahead and follow me on Snapchat. So with that said, let's get rid of that video the marble way. I will see you guys on the next video.